In this video, we will walk you through how to create an automatic campaign. Once you've logged into the Walmart Ad Center, click on the Campaigns tab and click on Create Campaign button in the top right hand corner. Select Automatic Bidding. This option will be used to create a content driven campaign where Walmart decides when to display your ad based on keywords identified from product title, description, and other sections of your product detail page, in addition to the product category and related products. Select Next and input your desired campaign name. Please note there are no restrictions on the name, but we recommend choosing a standard naming convention per campaign type. Next, select your date range. You can set a monthly date range or select run indefinitely from start date. If you select today as your start date, then your campaign will start running within the hour. Enter a total budget, daily budget, or both. The total budget represents the most you will spend for the campaign. As sponsor products is a cost per click, you will only be charged when a customer clicks on your ad. The final campaign spend may be equal to or less than the total budget, but will never exceed. The total budget must be $100 or greater. If setting only a total budget, your campaign will spend this amount as quickly as possible. Daily budget. This represents the most you will spend each day for the campaign. As your account will only be charged per click, your daily spend may vary. The daily budget must be $50 or greater and cannot exceed your total budget you entered. If your campaign does not spend all of the daily budget, the unused amount will be rolled over to the next day, but daily spend will never exceed two times the daily budget. For example, if you have a daily budget of $100 and you spend $50, the daily budget the following day will be $150. Note, if you create a campaign with only a total budget, you will not be able to add a daily budget once the campaign goes live. Similarly, if you create a campaign with only a daily budget, you will not be able to add a total budget once that campaign goes live. Once you've entered in your campaign name, your dates, and your budgets, now it's time to add in an optional bid multiplier. Bid multipliers give you additional options to optimize your advertising campaigns. This bidding feature helps you manage your sponsored product campaigns by enabling you to promote your products on prime placements and platforms. Please refer to the bid multiplier video to learn more and how. After you've selected your campaign name, the budget, the dates, and added your optional bid multipliers, it's now time to create your ad groups. Select Add New Ad Group and enter your ad group name. Some important tips. Each campaign must have at least one ad group. Each ad group can have a maximum of 2,000 items. Your bidding strategy is determined at the campaign level. You will be able to enable and disable an ad group after this campaign has started and cluster similar products together to enable you to track your performance accordingly. Now let's walk through how to upload your products and ad bids. Navigate over to the content section. You can upload your products in various ways. You can upload a CSV file, search for items by item ID, or search for items by product name, keywords, or brand name. Please note only base items are available for sponsored products. CPCs must be less than $20 and no more than two decimal places. And there is a maximum of 2,000 items allowed per ad group. Once your items have been added, you can enable, disable, and update your CPCs. Hit save. You are now ready to start your automatic campaign. 
After saving your ad group settings, you will be taken back to the campaign section where you can click schedule your campaign to go live or finish later. The finish later button saves your campaign as a draft. In our next video, we will review manual campaigns.